I know you guys won't be able to see me if I put everything on the table, but today we're going to unbox a few things here in my studio where I have the Cooler Master MWE750 Bronze, which is a power supply, then together with the APC uh, UPS over here, as well as the Cooler Master Master Box MD511 ARGB uh, P, uh, PC case. And I need to take this down first for you to be able to see me, and it's really huge. So there you go. Uh, yeah, let me focus a bit. Hi, it's me, Richmond of Gadget Sidekick. So today we are going to continue building my gaming PC. So today we're going to take on a few of the backbones of my PC, wherein I have the PSU, the UPS, and of course, the casing. Let's unbox. So first up, we're going to take on the uh, power supply unit, wherein this is the MWE750 Bronze. It's uh, something which gives you pure power from uh, Cooler Master. So quickly running down some of its specs, it has DC to DC technology. It also has a 120mm HDB fan, 80 plus bronze efficiency, uh, flat black cable, and of course, five years warranty. Probably for me, the five years warranty is the most attractive of all. And uh, this is a nice box. So right now we're going to open it. So we have to open it from the side. So we have the uh, cable, three prong cable, and a bunch of uh, internal cables, which we need later to connect to the motherboard. And as well as, uh, yeah, this one is the PSU. We have a big fan over here, which is uh, around 120 mm in size. And yeah, uh, at the back of the ribbon, it's uh, 750 watts right in here. So we have the switch here. Okay. And really, I'm, I'm pretty much excited. Uh, it has a nice cooler master print over here. And yeah, that's everything inside the box. We've got some screws and a user guide. So let's put it aside over here. So the MWE Bronze offers a simple, reliable way to power your mid-range system safely and of course efficiently. The 80 plus Bronze efficiency rating, DC to DC circuit design, discrete cable, silent mode, and 120mm HDB fan offers a power supply unit that's solid in features and performance while remaining simple and quiet. This PSU will handle all your core computing needs with none of the hassles or challenges of additional specialty features, software synchronization, or other bells and whistles. Just plug the cables you need uh, to your motherboard and get to work. For a great computer experience, you can go wrong, of course, with the MWE Bronze. So there you heard it from Cooler Master themselves. They assure you of pure power from this one. Well, it's nice. I'll be slapping this over uh, inside my casing uh, before I build it, uh, it's, which is, of course, right now I'm pretty much excited. One of my favorite reliable brand is, of course, Cooler Master. So, setting this aside. So we have here the APC UPS battery backup 650VA, which is a 400 watts of pure power over here, uh, which can, of course, giving you those backup battery whenever you need it. Of course, you know that our electricity here in our country is not that reliable, wherein we will go power out or blackout anytime, any day. So this APC Backup UPS CS series provides us with reliable power protection for office and home, and of course, office computers, uh, your gaming computers, uh, and of course, it has four power outlets, telephone protection, USB connectivity, and of course, free software. This one really would save you a lot of headache before it runs out of power, okay? So you will be able to save all your 
files, everything that you need when it's uh, power shortage. And yeah, I'm sure this one is very much reliable. And so how about that? Uh, open it up. So a typical package, you can see that it has a lot of styrofoam to make sure that it's pretty packed, uh, free from dents, and got some cables over here, another pair of cables over here. So we got some telephone wires over here, as well as warranty cards, user guide is everything is in this package, as well as my white well beige ups over here so yeah taking out of the box putting aside the styro and you can see this is my apc ups which is the cs series and you can see up front this is the uh, front panel uh you can see the online uh led indicator on battery overload replace battery and you can see here at the back, it has four outlets and one is, of course, this white one is for surge, anti-surge. This one is the power inlet. You have two, uh, four modems, okay, and this one is for uh, data port. So everything is very much protected. There's a word of reminder before we use, we need to remove something from the inside and the battery pack is pretty much down here. So. How about let's just go ahead and open this up. Let's see what's inside. So something to be proud of is that this one is made in the Philippines. And yeah, right now I'm here in my hometown, the Philippines. So while I'm removing it, here are some specs. Okay, so it has a patent pending in the US. So yeah, it's kind of hard to take it off. So. It's kind of sticky. Okay, so I'll be slicing this one off and see how it goes. And yeah, it's kind of messy. So it told us to open this one up, take the battery out. And I'm not sure, let's see, uh, take the battery out and remove some terminals before uh, putting it back. They want me to connect it. Okay. So let's see. Sonic rechargeable battery here, which is uh, do the short circuit. And yeah, it's kind of heavy. Okay. So all you need to do is simply connect this one to the red terminal and this one to the black terminal. Let's uh, see how we do it. All we need to do is simply put the battery pack back, plug this terminal, red to red. It's kind of a bit, uh, not that hard. Just need to insert it. Okay, there you go. Black to black, red to red. Just color coding. nothing hard so you can see that uh, i've successfully inserted it as well as the black one so we'll be pushing it back in and put on the cover there you go so this APC UPS uh, gives us easy to use USB connectivity for a computer. This APC backup uh, can deliver up to 65 minutes of auxiliary power, free power shoot, po uh, personal edition software for Windows and Mac, continually check battery runtime and alert you to change the UPS environment. Unattended shutdown and data saving can be set to specific 
requirements. So yeah, that's it. You can see it from uh, this one, the UPS. Uh, I'm pretty sure it can give me 65 minutes of auxiliary backup power when I need it. Of course, it's more than enough for me to shut down my PC uh, before it accidentally destroys my data, which is something that you really should have. So let's put this aside, this heavy stuff, and we'll be pulling out another heavy stuff, uh, which is the, of course, the PC case, which for me is the heaviest, probably one of the heaviest that I need to unbox for this setup, the MB511 ARGB case from Cooler Master. So guys, if you want to know where I bought these items, uh, you can check it out in the description box below. These ones uh, are sponsored by our friends from Cooler Master Philippines. Uh, of course, you can buy this stuff from uh, AAA Brilliant Machines over at Green Hills. I also post the link below. As well as the UPS, you can buy it from Pointer Enterprises. Uh, I'll post their Shopee, Lazada links, as well as their website link on the description box below. Don't forget to check them out. And yeah, this one is kind of big. Whoop. Okay. Beefy, you can see really big stuff here. So, okay, have to pull this out. Really have to invert it. Okay, so while I'm at it, okay, so with the Master Box MB511 ARGB system, this is built for high demand gaming uh, so that it can breathe easily throughout the fine mesh front panel along with the aggressive intakes in front. There's also ventilation on the top panel for added thermal support. Uh, this is, of course, uh, having the Cooler Master Signature fine mesh making up the entire front panel, proven to provide generation. Uh, Proven to provide generous air flows while simultaneously filtering out dust. This, uh, of course, this not only keep gaming system cool, but also clean. The internal layout was engineered for high compatibility for the latest gaming hardware while also accounting for future upgrades. Build versatility is uh, supplemented out by out-of-the-box ARGB lighting, ensuring that any gaming system built inside the Master Box MB501 ARGB looks as good as it performs. So, okay, one, two, three. Okay, what's up? And taking out the two styros out of the way there we go so in so inside here we have a forcer user guide and a big piece of plastic uh, covering this system and out of the box, I can say the design is pretty neat. Okay, so yeah, I'm starting to love all this stuff from Cooler Master. So there we can see it's really neat. Okay, so after we assembled everything, I'm pretty sure that this will really looks pretty nice. So you can see that uh, here's the mesh that they're talking about. Here's the Cooler Master logo. On top, we have those ports, USB, and of course, audio ports. At the back, we have, uh, of course, for your case fan, and down here is for your uh, PSU. Here are for your other ports, graphic cards, and etc. This is for your uh, motherboard. Okay. On the side, I love it since it's made out of fiberglass. Okay, so it's transparent fiberglass. Really nice, and we have a couple of fans inside. I'm not pretty sure if you can see it. So it's definitely nice. And on top, we have your signature 
mesh from Cooler Master, giving it a lot of good airflows for your system. So, yeah, right now. So guys, right now we're going to mount quickly our uh, power supply unit over inside this one. So let's open the screws over here, thinking out the case and case it's pretty nice. Okay. Cables, accessories over here, which is pretty much packed. So all we need to do is just simply attach this one, screw it up, and yeah, we're good to go. Just need to place this inside, okay? Just like this. And I'll be putting all the four screws over here to make sure that it uh, won't wobble inside. And I'll put all of these cables inside to make sure I'll be able to connect it properly during my assembly of the motherboard. So that's how easy you can put your power supply unit inside this case. So there guys, you've seen the case that I'll be going to use and the uh, power supply unit I'm going to use as well as the UPS that I'm going to use. This is the part two of my uh, PC build, my gaming PC build, and of course my video editing rig PC build. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much excited to finish this up as soon as possible to be able to give you that experience that I'm going to have sharing you what I've been building these past few days. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here on my channel. And guys, my road to 100,000 subscribers is still ongoing. If you haven't joined, please join and do so. I'll post the link up there. And of course, if you want to know where I bought this stuff, check it out on the description box below. The UPS came from our friends from Pointer Philippines and this good stuff from Cooler Master came from Cooler Master PH. Check it out and I'll drop it on the description box below and I'll see you on the next video.